hi guys welcome back to my channel in case if you're new here thanks for stopping by my name is linda so in this video i'm going to be reviewing the classic 24 hours long lasting lip gloss um i've always heard about the classic brand classic is actually like a nigerian beauty brand and um whenever i like uh, a friend of mine always, always tells me that other uh, classic products are like they're very affordable and they're very very good and sometimes when I go to the market and I purchase like um, makeup, they always recommend like their lippies to me, like their eyebrow definer, their setting sprays, their primer. But I always feel like low in my mind, I always feel like, ah, no, 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 it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good enough. So I basically never bought any of their products except like I bought like their um, eyebrow definer and... Um, I tend to I never really use them much because I'm not really like the type to like fill in my brows. I rather like to use like a brow pencil to like draw in my brows than fill the than fill filling them in. So recently I finally decided to like purchase the classic um 24 hours long <laughs> 24 hours long lasting lip gloss and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my verdict on how the sleepies wear and how the color pigmentation is and all of that. So if you want to hear like my views on my favorite shades, the ones which I recommend and, and the ones which I don't recommend for you to get, except you actually like that particular shade in question. So guys, if you want to see like me swatch the shades, then let's just keep going. Let's just jump right into like the swatches itself. So guys, the first of the lippy which I'm going to be swatching is the Jazzberry Jam. It's kind of like a pinky shade. So I'm just going to start by applying it all over my lips and showing you guys, of course, what it looks like. Hmm. My verdict on the Jazz Berry Jam is... It doesn't apply smoothly, but if you keep on working it, of course, you're going to eventually get like a smooth application. But then the color, I think I really love the color, but then um, my, I would only fault it on application. It doesn't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't appear to be very pigmented when you apply it, but eventually if it applies, if it applies kind of like patching anyway, all you just need to do is just go back and reapply and then it comes out looking nice. But generally, will I recommend this shade? I think I really like this shade. It looks beautiful on me. I really like it. So I'll just go over, clean it off and swatch another. So guys, the next shade which I'm going to be swatching is the natural nude shade. This shade right here. Uh, I'm in my prom, optimist, Sagittarius, so you know I'm an optimist. So guys, this is what the natural nude shade looks like. I personally, well, if you're someone that likes a nude shade, then of course you may like this. And the application of this shade is quite smooth. It's a really nice natural lip shade if you're looking for something natural. So... The next shade which I'm going to be swatching is the pepper shade. Hmm. I think this is a very beautiful color. If you're looking out for something, you know, not so like popping red, it's kind of like an orange tone red. It could even pass as an orange lippy. And I think this is really beautiful. It, apply, it applies so smoothly. And um, I would recommend this, of course, if you like an orange shade. But if you don't like something that has that orange tone, then of course you could just at least keep buying this. So I'll just move over to sw swatching the next shade. So guys, next I'll be swatching the shade Oriental Pink. It's also like a nude, soft pink lippy. Get your thirst quenched. Style doing them in this bird very trench. These birds copy every word, every inch. But gang gang got the hammer and the wrench. I pull up in that quarter milli off the lot. Oh no, she just well, I like this lip shade. I think I absolutely love it. But I recommend you purchasing it. Of course, I would recommend you buying it because it doesn't it applies smoothly, though it still has that over drying feel like on my upper lip area. But I feel like that can be started out with a little lip balm. So of course, I absolutely recommend you actually like purchase the oriental pink shade so guys the next shade which i'm going to be swatching is the classic um lippy in peace your bitch want party with cardi cardi a body in a rari diamonds all over my body shining all over my body cardi got your bitch on molly bitch who ain't gang guys this is the fifth shade and <laughs> i really don't know if i would dare wear this lippy out but i think i would 
I really like it. It's not like the regular lip color that most people tend to wear, but then it's really, really, it applies smoothly. And um, if you like a color that it's kind of like different from the regular, if you like the unusual makeup colors, like makeup look, then of course I would absolutely recommend this. And it applies so smoothly and um, it feels very comfortable on my lips actually. So if you like a color like this, if you like the way it looks on me, and if you feel like it might also look good on you, then of course I would recommend you get the P shade. So guys, the next lippy which I'm gonna be um swatching is the VIP shade. Wow, wow. You love me, I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. Fifty dub, I even got it tatted on me. Eighty one. Guys, I absolutely love this lippy. Like, it applies so smoothly. It's like a... How do I describe the color? It, it looks like a burgundy. It looks like a burnt brown. It looks... Uh, but then it's the VIP shade. And I must say, I absolutely love this lippy. Like, it's... Hmm. Hmm. And it feels very comfortable on my lips, I must say. It feels very comfortable. And um, would I recommend you purchase this? Absolutely, yes. Go get one. Go get a VIP shade. It is. <laughs> if you like something dark and you like the way it looks on me, of course, you should go get it. But then if you don't like something dark, then you could totally leave it out of your shopping list. I'm going to be swatching the last of the lippy. And it's this. And the last shade is the Hot Flame. If you can see it here. It's a Hot Flame lippy. Wow. No bitch, be humble. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. Be humble. Bitch, sit down. Be humble. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. Alright, guys. I think this color is the most stunning of all the shades. Like, I absolutely love hot flame. Like, hot. Go get yourself hot flame if you don't have hot flame like if you don't have like any of the classic products if you don't have any of the if you don't have anything classic at least you should get hot flame like i absolutely love hot flame like the color is like it could make any woman look very sexy like wow like go get you a hot flame yeah amongst um, the seven shades of course these five are my favorite i'm going to list the five of them which are my favorite in the comment section and i'm also going to add like my least favorite to the comment section also so if you have any one if you if, if there are any of the slippies which you feel like that apps that absolutely suits me that looks really beautiful on me then please let me know in the comment section like for me my favorites are hot flame and vip then for you what which of them do you think looks really great on me let me know in the comment section so guys thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video, please kindly give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please kindly hit that subscribe button right now. And um, thanks so much for watching this, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. And until then, always remember, be bold, have courage. You are beautiful, live a beautiful life, be positive, And um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.